Well, hi there. Welcome back to my channel. Nails not on fleek yet, but the hangnails, <laughs> which seems to be because I, you know, I do first person shooter. You're not going to see my face if I can help it. Um, yes, it's a pretty face, but it's a pretty face with lupus. So it's like I have a cherry tomato face. <laughs> Anywho, oh, dirty fingernail, disgusting. But at least the black matches my black diamonds, right? All right, let's get into this video. This is for doll collectors of Barbie. Hang on a second. Whoops. It took me a while to find this. I don't want to lose it. Let me pull up the brightness. There's a recall on what? How come, you know, before I get into this video, how come all of a sudden, getting close to election time, conspiracy theory people, but... You know, come on now. COVID has been around ever since Lysol said it was around. And you know how long? I am so old that I remember when Lysol came in a brown glass bottle. Okay, that's centuries old. So I know what I'm talking about, young people. And if you ain't got a mama, I'll be your mama. You come talk to me. If you need advice, I'm always here for everybody. I enjoy the people that watch my stuff. Thank you, because... It's hard to kind of lay, you know, it's hard to be crippled and bedridden. Yes, I do get up, but it's not often and not for very long. So thank you for all those. Thank you for the people that come by. It, you're welcome to leave a comment, but I appreciate everybody that comes to my channel. It does give me a little something to do because trust me, when this is your view in life and you're crippled and you can't get out and go, hell, I can't even unpack. This is my view, so luckily today, oh, when I, I had a sick blog, but I'm like, people ain't going to want to hear me complain, moan and groan. Let's, let's do something else. All right, so, uh, whoops, this is my, this is my, uh, this is my other phone. Uh, it has my other channel, which does pretty good, got like. I don't know, uh, 53 videos, 12 subscribers. Unlike this channel, for years, I had, all my stuff was, uh, you know, like private. And then I started unlocking them, and then I thought, well, you know, it's kind of old, uh, you know, old whole movies and old stuff. So I just started, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be a YouTuber. But I don't want their money. I got money. I don't do this for them. I do this for me. So, okay, this video... Uh, about four months ago, and it took that damn long. Good Lord, this was the worst case of green ear. Um, let's uh, let's see how this goes. All right. I'm back to my channel. Uh -oh. What is this you say? What is this? Well, unlike one of my last videos, Can't do for, that. and this is for doll collectors, uh, especially Barbies. Um, there we go. I did a video recently on how to treat green ear. Okay. Let's See if I can run it up. All right. Oops. Don't let your nim nims out, baby girl. <laughs> yeah. When I said nim nims, somebody commented and said, "Can't let them nim nims be showing." Whoever you were, that was so cute. Compare. The hardest part was this needle, and I will get to that. Um, but as you can see, hang on. I'm trying to get well, you. Whoops. Old gal turned out pretty, pretty good. I must say. Compare. The hardest part. A video recently on how to treat green. Yeah, we're just gonna have to. You're just gonna have to suffer through and hang out with a gypsy for a while, cause this is the other. Even though I'm on this phone, this is the sweet gypsy rose phone. Okay, this is not. <laughs> this is my sweet gypsy rose 5150. But I'm subscribed to myself because I've jacked up my YouTube channel somehow, some way. I pissed them off. I posted something. For 10 years, I had private stuff, and then I unlocked it, and it was like 3,492 copyright strikes. I'm like, what? So I took all that stuff off, and I started building, and then <laughs> dumbass me went in there and started monkeying around with settings like a jackass, and <laughs> now I've done something to my YouTube. And um, I don't care what they said. They even sent me an attachment, and they said, well, here's YouTube Studio, but YouTube Studio for Android? <laughs> I can't make no damn sense out of it. So anyway, enough about that. All right, here's the doll in question. Um, as you can see here, 
I put some sprinkles on her just so she could be cute. But her hair went, okay, now these are the uh, reproduction Barbies, okay, of the old school, this camera, of the old school ponytail Barbies. Well, they come, and if you are a Barbie collector and you catch metal earrings in them, even if it's new, even if it's a silk stone, which I do have silk stones Barbies. I'm going to show you them. Those are the $300 Barbies. Very rare. And um, when COVID did hit initially, um, you know, everybody quit making shit. That's why we run out of shit. I'm still not going to forgive Biden for $8 for a damn dozen of eggs. Get that old codger out but anyway all right i'll try to find it on here um but as you can see there's no green and there's no green okay come on come on i swear the lg phone is still hanging in there and it's a good phone wait here we can do the light here all right wow that washes everything out though all right. Hello, baby. Oh, Lord, I can't do nothing. I'm trying to vlog. Now, sit down. Pay attention. Get Barbie sugars. Get Barbie sugars. So, anyway, as you can see, you can treat it. And this is a new doll. On the dolls that was actually produced in 1958 that get greenier. Look at now. Uh, when they get greenier, it takes away from their value. So even, no, that's not going to work. I thought that might work where I could just really bring it up. But I guess I'm going to have to dig through this video to show you the difference. But I'm going to go ahead and just explain the, the similarities of it. Okay, at one point in time, you could put a little cotton ball and CLR on greenier. Okay. And I don't have a picture of green ear handy. I do. Hang on. I'll keep talking while I'm digging on the third phone. Um, but if they, if they had metal earrings in them, and I had put mine up, and we moved here four years ago, and I haven't been able to fool with my dolls or restore or do anything, but hang out with these guys. Wait and stare at the ceiling while you lay here crippled up. But anyway, okay, hang on. Show me pictures of Barbie with green ear. Alright. Wait a minute. Vintage Barbie with green ear. Alright, hang on. I'm going to pull it up so you can see what I was dealing with. All right, we'll just do this. That way I'm not stealing. All right, this is what happens. Let me take this back off. This is what happens. Hang on, I think the husband's on his way. Yep, sorry, I had to answer a text. Yay, hubby's home. They'll lose their mind as soon as he pulls up. Okay, this is what green ear. And there's several remedies but here's a real good, and this is an 80s doll here, I think. No, wait, no, that's that's an old Barbie. Here's a newer one, okay? And that's about, mine was not that bad. That would take about six months to treat. But I'm going to give you the secret. Hang on. Um, I have about, oh, I probably got $10,000 worth of Barbie stuff. Come rob it. I don't care. I'm insured. I'll get it back. <laughs> anyway. Um, she's the daughter I never had. Um, that's the size of the hole. I did have to go in there with a, uh, with something, uh, something of this nature, but a lot slimmer to get in the hole. Well, um, if you go to do this, I used, uh, CLR, but CLR apparently, oh, and this is a bad, I'm not going on to anybody's channel. Um, here's a bad case of it. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. I am not well today, you guys. Okay, here you go. Here's the before. Okay. And what happens is, 
it's old school, especially on the older dolls, because plastics had different styrenes and polystyrenes in them. So when you have a doll from the 50s, and, you know, by the time a kid in the 60s and 70s gets it, and it still has the metal earrings, um, metal earrings is on most Barbie and on uh, France, is it Francie? The whole franchise family of the Barbie dolls. There's another one that wears a triangle earring. Um, I yanked it out as soon as I got it. But that's what happens when you have an older doll or if you decide, oh, I want to buy my doll some, some earrings. Get plastic ones. They look awful or just don't put, use them at all. So that's, that's what I was dealing with. Now, in order, in order to get rid of that, I used the old treatment, which was just, I thought somebody had done it. I'll show you. You take a little piece of cotton swab, okay, and you dip it in the CLR, and you can see these dolls are still holding their, their value, just the head alone, 200. I've got a fortune in my dolls. I've, I, there's not one I don't have. There's not one I don't have. And PJ was my favorite growing up. But anyway, um, I don't think nobody's going to show it. But CLR has changed their recipe because after a month of um, fooling with the CLR, I was still seeing a green tinge and I wanted it completely, and I mean completely gone, which you can see here. Okay, potato phone. It might be, I don't, I don't see green. If you see green, please leave it in the comments. But I don't see it, and I do have diabetic eyes, so there's that. But she was that bad. And she has my uh, sweat rag on right now. But This is the daughter I never had. Wish I had a daughter right now, because ladies, we all know when you have a son, you have him until he takes a wife. But when you have a daughter, luckily you have her for life. Sadly, I got hit with cancer at the ripe young age of 19 right after giving birth so there weren't any chances of having a second child which i didn't need <laughs> looking back now i didn't need so anyway girl sit down go sit down somewhere i'm trying to talk about you so don't use the clr because they have um they have changed the uh they changed the formula because clr used to work and like you put clr on it little piece of cotton ball CLR lay it on this area and just take what I did is I took a syringe because I have to inject myself with dope and vitamin b12 so I took a syringe and I, I went inside and I shook it up a little bit but you don't want to put put it in it if you don't have to you don't want to submerge the doll because it could affect the eyelashes if you've got an, the ones that come with real eyelashes which I have and it could compromise her paint. You just want to treat the area. Um, I stuck her head on a, um, like on the end of a beauty brush. And then I just, you know, be careful taking the heads off these dolls. Watch your videos. Don't boil them. You can pull them off dry, but you got to be real careful. On the older dolls, yes. But on the newer dolls, there's a little arrow in there that makes the head pivot because the old heads would not pivot they would just turn so the pivot heads you got to be careful when you remove them don't use clr they changed it and i wasted time then i said okay i'm just going to leave it alone for a while so then i said okay what else can i do so i went to the uh i started i went with baking soda and vinegar and I thought well maybe I can boil it out and no that didn't turn out too well so then I come up with the idea why not take Tarnix which does work you can use Tarnix be very careful with it I would recommend using a syringe if you can get one because you know you can't get one of them unless you're a junkie or if you're you know sick with stuff so I used a hypodermic needle on that i'm losing my train of thought i'm so sick today damn it anyway clr don't work so then i went all right i went with tarnix and the tarnix was starting to show improvement 
But you got to be careful with that Tarnix because it's not intended for rubber. And this is a brand new, this is up to date rubber with not without the polystyrenes and the gases that is in old plastics that's why some barbies that you get have melt their arms are melted it literally because over time like whoever had the dolls in the 50s when they outgrew them well mama throwed them up in the attic and the dolls did not fare well through the heat because of the plastic in the 70s 50s 60s that sort of thing so i tried the tarnix for a little while and I was saying a little bit, but I was, you know, it was still so tedious. So I did the, the cotton swab. I did the cotton swab on the ear. I know this is painful, but when you're, I'm sorry, I'm diseased and I'm bedridden. So sometimes I just had to blow from here. But what I did was, now I'm taking a cotton ball and I'm going to do Tarnix. Tarnix did a little bit. But now I'm like, well, now I'm going to have to go back to fifth grade math, fifth grade science class. So I took Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Okay, this this works, y'all. CLR, CLR has changed. If it would work, it would have worked like it did last time. You can also use clear seal, benzoyl peroxide, put a little dab on it, put it in a windowsill, let it dry, scrape it off gently with a wet rag, and repeat. The, the if you do it that way you have to repeat 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 so then i thought hmm fifth grade science class so i took a mr clean and i tore a little shit a little piece off i laid it on the ear and i made a chemical concoction so that's like a duke nukem's girlfriend <laughs> so i put tarnix on top of magic eraser and every day I'd take my syringe and I'd go in there and just wet it just enough. And if you have any blowback from that, have a, have a Q-tip on hand to dry it up because you don't want that stuff getting in the hair because, um, you know, it'll mess the hair up. Because handling her, just her head alone, her ponytail, I had to go back and um, you can put hairspray and water to, to mold it because... The newer reproduction dolls, their hair is molded. Even if I took it down and combed it out, it would not be the same because of the way it's sewn in. So I took a little bit of sham I took a little bit of hairspray and water and cut off all the flybys. And now she's back to her three hundred dollar value because I have her um she's in mint condition. She's naked, y'all can't see them. They I'm like, ooh, girl, I think you got some lumps in there. Lumps in the butt. Lumps in the butt. What about the girls with the lumps in her? Yeah. Sorry, I had an MC Hammer moment. <laughs> so, once I started, after the CLR didn't work, after the bacon southern vinegar didn't work, after uh, Tarnax alone didn't work, I come up with the idea, magic eraser. Because I've seen magic, that, that magic eraser take all kinds of shit. I mean, stuff that you couldn't like take a sander and get off magic eraser it's magic eye because all i did was lay a little piece there and for three weeks every day i would saturate it and i had to do one ear at a time and okay so now that we're done with that let's go over here it it literally took four months so if you've got a doll with green ear do expect to it's tedious all right so let's I did a video recently on how to treat green ear. Well, the time has passed because this is what you do. No. I showed on that video. Let's see if I can. Uh, this is. This two was. Weeks to take a. Now, this is what I was doing. I, this is how I started. I wrapped her up and I thought, well, I'll just do the thread flossing where you take. Uh, you run a needle through one ear to the other, and that can be be very careful. One wrong move, and you've stabbed her cheek, and now you've lost the value of a perfectly good doll. What I did, let's see if I can... To clip off a tiny piece. Yeah, okay. What I did was I took one of my diabetic boxes that my strips come in. I put a cotton ball, CLR, and a string, put it through a thread, and I threaded it. So I was ear flossing her daily. Because the string was staying wet, that didn't work out. Oh, I actually was trying to pick it up. Well, good Lord. 
this is her lobotomy juice. Um, it, to clip a little piece of a cotton ball and lay it on her ear and then lay, you know, doing that. Yeah, I lost my nails. I just got tired of them. I got such... There I go with my ADHD and my hangnails. <laughs> okay, apparently that didn't work. Let me try to get, get up a little bit more on this video. Dry fingers because my... Treated. So, so back in the story that didn't work it was just like giving a whale a tic tac so that didn't work with my other dolls one day you will be amazed i am that girl that has every barbie ever made going as far back as well i don't have the the one that's worth 10 million we're just gonna you can use clear seal but i know for a fact that clear seal will actually make this area white and as you can see there's no white here none and it was so hard because i could feel myself poking the inside of her head i took the longest needle i could find and make sure it is a very slim to none needle i mean i want to retract that because and i didn't even realize what i was doing don't do the, the, the mental floss thing because if you're trying to treat green ear, which is the event of having cheap aloe meadow metal in a doll earring that would cause this to begin with, I, it kind of dawned on me after about three weeks of trying the mental floss, it didn't work because the metal was still engaging with what was going on in the green ear, it's kind of like a disease, if you it will. It has to be very, very slim. It has to be movie thingies. Okay, yeah, I'm blabbering. Um, yep, this is going to be one of those tricks of the trade. Okay, so what you want to do is not is this. Now that your string is completely saturated. Don't do that. Thing. Or you can string. You can try it, but through one ear. To the other, hang on, sorry. One ear to the other, there's still a little bit. I can see a trace amount of. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I actually found that uh, remedy on the internet, and that was just like I said, giving a well a tic tac. So you can try it, just don't let the metal stay in or around the skin. Just use the the string especially if you've got a light case and mine was a light case this is an extreme case let's see if there's any more extremes um this is getting a little long and yeah that's that's it it was kind of like more like a little bit of that it was not that bad i would have lost my mind um but anyway this is getting a little too Green. long so let's just this that way you don't accidentally yeah, yeah, yeah. Visual there, and as you can see, the product is on her skin. I'll see. have to take a wipe and do something with that. But, yep. That collects dolls because all you have to do is invest in this, and this will go a long way. And final word is, if you have metal earrings in your dolls, don't take the heads off because on these... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to... Yeah, that didn't, that didn't do a whole bunch. That was one of my remedies I posted. So, if you really want to get it, if you've got a stubborn case of green ear, um, you're just going to have to go Bill Nye, which I don't know why people hate him. My kids loved him. Um, you're going to have to go Bill Nye, science guy, and figure it out. Um, it's What worked was a little piece of magic eraser, hypodermic needle, and put about three, four drops of Tarnix on it. And in a matter of weeks, she's all brand new. And she will go back into storage with all her sisters. Okay, this is way long. I don't know if anybody's going to stick into this. This is for doll collectors. I do collect toys and that stuff. And, and I collected two fat bastards, which they turned their back on me. But as soon as my husband walks in the door, pew, they're ready to eat. So anyway, thanks for watching. I just hope this helps somebody out. Um, the CLR did change their recipe because CLR would have done it in a month. And that video was four months ago and I already had it. So anyway, 
Thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody. And um, hang on to your dolls because you go on eBay. This girl right here is selling for 300 fully clothed, mint condition. And I have so many dolls. I even have Tootie, the little bitty one. And um, Cricket. People don't remember Cricket. So I have all the whole family. I only have two Ken dolls. I haven't got an Allen yet or the other little boy. I think there's a little boy in the franchise. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm Barbie. I'm that bitch that's got everything. This girl even got her own airplane. I give up. <laughs> take care of your Barbies. Enjoy your collecting. Um, uh, one day I'll take you in there and show you the hot mess. But right now this video is way long and this is only going to be... This may not even hit. Probably going to be a miss. But anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. God bless.